Do you feel like you do no damage in dungeons at all? <laughs> do you want more of it? Well then you've come to the right place because I'm gonna show you how you can get some free damage. Now this isn't gonna be some revolutionary damage boost, it's just a little bit, but it is essentially free. With the Crystal Hollows update also came the option to imbue your gear with gems. This only works with certain gear however. Luckily for us, most of the dungeon stuff has gem slots. Anyways, all of these gems kinda suck for dungeon gear, except for Jasper. If you apply fine Jasper gems to your armor, that's an additional 20 strength. Now you might not think that's all that great, which it really isn't, but this scales in dungeons, and it increases your strength by quite a bit. Now this is pretty pitiful damage for my cattle level, because my Hyperion is on heroic for some reason, I really should change that at this point. But it's increased my damage from 4.7 to 4.9 million nonetheless. For a free boost I can't really complain. Earlier I said how the other gems are kind of useless for dungeon gear, and I must come clean with you, I lied. There's this one crazy gem called the subscribe gem. I mean it's crazy how they keep adding stuff like this just for me to plug my channel. Also I have this thing called the discord you know. We almost have 1000 members so join it please. Link in the description. Anyways I really did lie about the other gems being useless. While Jasper is by far the most useful, stuff like Amethyst and Ruby are useful if you're a tank. If you're wondering which is better, it's Amethyst because defense is more valuable than HP. For mages you might think that Sapphire would be the best, but the amount of intelligence it gives is very low. It's good if you're a pure right click mage, but if you're left click or even a hybrid, I'd definitely go with Jasper over Sapphire. Of course you can also take things to the next level and opt for flawless or even perfect gems over fine, but those will cost you quite a bit. One last thing, I'm not entirely sure if this has a heart of the mountain or mining level requirement, but even if it does it's most likely very low, so if you have any of these armor sets you should be able to imbue them with gems. This video was really short, so here's a Powliner pro tip. You know how when you have full Necron or whichever Wither set on and the little Wither guy spawns? You can just disable him by middle clicking on any of the armor pieces. This also helps a lot if you're mining and he keeps getting in your way like come on bro. Alright that's it, see you in two days.